Hey, what's up, everybody? This is BLAF slash Lateralis here. Uh, if you guys see me online uh, playing Squadron Tire Defense, I will be uh, I'll be under my name Lateralis. Um, now this now today uh, I'm gonna show you guys the mechanical builder, which is uh, one of my favorite builders. He's a, it's a really strong builder. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, stretching out there. It's a really uh, strong builder. And uh, the and uh, and with this builder, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to have a good defense, and also uh, I'm going to work towards 31 workers and five speed. Now I might not get there. I just want to put a little asterisk that you will get um, you will get more money uh, than me. You have you have a higher income, and you'll get more money for the rounds just because there will be leaks. Uh, you'll get some of that. You get some of those uh, minerals from people leaking <laughs> and all that stuff. <clears throat> and I am going to go ahead and uh, start off this builder. Uh, I am going to place him. Going to go ahead and do a uh, in, uh, infantry and a peewee. Good combination for the first round. You shouldn't have any problems, no matter what the sends are. Um, also, for the second round, you uh, I'm going to add on another. I'm probably going to add on another peewee or infantry, and uh, you should be. I mean, the mechanical builder is really strong. Uh, for for every round, um, and also is a good it's a good builder to build up a, a good economy. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, wait for this round to start. Uh, I'm not gonna be skipping any times or anything, which you can do, because I do want to get the the most sending income possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a uh, a marine this first round. And yes, so here we go. Should be okay. Sorry about that. Gotta center my screen. And yeah, so here comes the marine. And gonna be able to take care of this pretty okay. Uh, the infantry he does do uh, pier he does piercing damage, and the PV does uh, normal damage, which is more to armored, and he does pretty much more to light. And this round, I am going to go ahead and add on another Peewee. Yes, add on another Peewee. And that's going to be really good. Uh, actually, I'm going to add him on this side. Kind of try to protect my, uh, my infantry a little bit better. And, yes, yeah, so this is pretty good. These, these guys should be able to take care of this uh, the second round. Now, something that you always have to watch out for in the second round is a uh, is a zealot send. Uh, some people they'll send a zealot at you if you don't um, if you don't send anything the first round and you save up your minerals, you can get uh, 60 minerals, and which will buy you a zealot send uh, by the second round, which can be pretty deadly uh, for a lot of builds if you're not ready for the zealot. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, so if somebody sent me a Zealot, I might not have been able to look for that round. But, um, but it, what that does allow you to do is get your captain up this round. And now the captain, his, the best part about the captain is that he has this 7% attack damage. That means he's helping all of these units do more damage, which is, which is huge. Um, it's just it's such a it's such a powerful uh, upgrade, and also when you get the admiral, um, that will stack with the captain. So you have one admiral, one captain, and that's going to be plus 21% damage on all your units. So the mechanical. So what you're going to excuse me, what you're going to see me do is upgrade him to an admiral, and then have um then have another captain in the back kind of and he's gonna and he's gonna be the and he'll just pretty much be there for his buff that's pretty much all that uh, I'll use him for now I'm gonna go ahead and start my economy up get another SCV out important to get the economy going as uh, quickly as possible round four is usually a, a pretty good round for that first SCV and the benchmark that you're looking for uh, 
if you just want to have like a good benchmark for where your economy's at, uh, the one when, when the main uh, benchmarks that I set for myself is that I do want to have um, I, I want to have uh, five SCVs and speed one done by uh, for the first boss. And sometimes I'll build that fifth SCV um, with that 50 minerals that the that the first boss gives you. And that's okay. Um, as long as you have that, uh, as long as you have um, that kind of is the idea in your head where you want to be, and build your defense with that mind, you should be you should be pretty okay. So yeah, able to take care of the marine realm pretty good. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get my um, get a veteran up. Uh, this veteran is is gonna be good for this the overload round, and it's also uh, really good for the roach round. You need uh, this one kind of veteran f just to do uh, deal good damage against those roaches uh, in the round coming up. So yeah, this is a pretty good start for mechanical for the mechanical builder. Yeah. Very strong um, plus damage, all that stuff. Take a little sip. So yeah, here comes the uh, hoverlords, I guess they're not overlords, they really are overlords, I just call them hoverlords in this game. This is not normal Starcraft, this is a UMS, which is one of the funnest parts about Starcraft in my opinion. I am going to go ahead and get my uh, first speed up, and then I'm kind of going to start uh, saving some minerals. For uh, to upgrade my infantry, one a lot of people a lot of people see get the Zeus. Um, I don't much like the Zeus because of the piercing damage. I like chaos and siege damage for my defenses, and uh, so I do go ahead and get the Pyro, which is a close range unit. Uh, he kind of kind of sits just like in the formation upgrade that you build, complete. and. Um, and he does chaos damage behind all of these guys, so he's uh, it's a very good, uh, very good builder, good build choice I think. because he's going to be doing good damage no matter what the armor type, so you don't have to worry about that. And usually I'll get, I'll probably get uh, a couple pyros before it's for the end. So here we go. We're going to go in the zealot round. I'm going to go ahead and add on my second infantry. And you, st you still should be pretty okay for this uh, for the Zealot round. I do have the speed and the two SCVs. Pretty pretty good economy so far. And you just need to add on uh, three more SCVs before the boss round. And this is round seven, so 79, 10. I have about four more rounds of minerals coming in before uh, I really I, I need to be there. And I think I will be. So here come the Zealots. Taking those down pretty good. The Zealots are kind of smaller than the Roaches, so they get more of a they get a better surround on these guys, which leaves your infantry units to sit back and deal more damage. Now I am not uh, I'm not actually upgrade ready for my own. Um, my pyro yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and build another SCV here on round eight. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't say to follow this exactly, but definitely go for kind of the, the this unit composition. Uh, just don't take the rounds exactly. Kind of know what you want and and do it when you can, because sometimes you get a, a bad send and you can recover. Don't 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 be one of those people that leaves the game because you leak on one round. You can come back. From, I've I've come back from you know leaking an early round like a lava crawler because I got a zealot or something like that, and still have 31 SCV. You know those guys only give you like three or four minerals. Uh, you'll probably get some kills on them even if you do leak. So I, that is not the biggest deal in the world. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pyro up. So I have one pyro, one peewee, um, a veteran, captain. And infantry going into round nine, and with 
and after this round I will be able to get my um, I will be able to get uh, my fourth and fifth SCV so I'm gonna be in great shape here going into the, the next couple rounds going into going in the boss round uh, this pyro just does so much damage to the boss um, he's got a 0.5 attack speed so that's every second he's doing about a hundred damage hundred damage a second really good really good unit and you'll see him just uh, kind of tear through these products and he's also a tank he's got he's got a thousand HP he's the biggest uh, he's the biggest tank in your army right at this point so there we go. I can't get two more SCVs. Um, kind of at a crossroads here. Do I want to get another SCV or do I want to go ahead and get a veteran? And I will go ahead and get the veteran. Since I cannot even build an SCV right now, yep, I'm going to go ahead and get the veteran. And then I'll get that fifth SCV uh, after this boss kill. So. This is definitely good to kill the boss, and these guys will also be good for the uh, the round 11. So I won't even have to worry about um, I won't have to worry about building any new units for round 11. That is just a huge investor, and he walks slow. Okay, gonna go ahead and send a marine. Uh, once I get my fifth SCV, I'll probably be able to start sending myself marauders, which is uh, kind of what you start seeing at about round seven. So does pretty good damage. Yep, there we go. Took him out. Uh, do need to get my supply depot upgraded. And then I'm going to build an SCV and I'll be at uh, 5 SCVs and 1 speed, which is where you want to be at. And I definitely will be able to handle this. Um, I definitely will be able to handle um, this. Uh, Upgrade complete. These guys? The scantipedes. There's a lot of them, but it's not that big a deal. Pretty, uh, it's a pretty uh, easy round after the boss. Even though they do, uh, they are mechanical, but they aren't. They aren't like uh, the Marauders. <coughs> the two big rounds that are coming up are round 14 and round 17. Definitely want to know those rounds. That's the Immortal round and the Marauder. They have two very uh, important rounds. They can they can get you in a lot of trouble. They uh, they are uh, they're a little bit tough. They're a little bit tougher in the round. And there we go. So I do have my 200 minerals, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, get a tempest out. Now the tempest does siege damage, and it upgrades into a leviathan. The leviathan is your bread and butter unit. I'm gonna go ahead and add another SCV. It's your bread and uh, butter unit, kind of of this. Um, of this of the army um, I I like this better I like this tier 4 unit better than I like the the tier 5 unit or the tier or the neo tank uh, it's that good and uh, it's just because of how much it's it scales with the bonus damage of the captain and also because of the splash damage of the revival so the uh, tempest doesn't do that but once you once I upgrade it you'll start to see what I mean especially uh, when it comes to the Marauder and the Immortal Round. <coughs> I am going to go ahead and set myself a Marauder. And I'm going to wait and upgrade um, 